What's going on guys, Avatar Man Z here, and today I thought I'd do a video for you guys on how to maximize your frames per second in Rocket League. Now this will turn down quite a number of settings and make the game look a little bit different from what you're used to, but uh, if you guys are really looking to get the most amount of frames in your game, then this is definitely the way to do it. So basically what you want to do is go to your documents folder, go to my games, Rocket League, TA game, and then config and find the TA system settings. Now, my system settings file here has already been configured. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to upload it so you guys can download it. Just delete your version and copy in my version. Then once you have that in place, you're just going to right click on it, go to properties, make sure it's read only, then hit OK. So basically once we get uh, once we get into game, then you guys will be able to see that with my video settings, I've actually turned it down to 1080p just because most people don't play at 1440p. Um, we are doing full screen mode with anti-aliasing off at high render quality with transparent goalposts enabled with everything else unchecked. So this is kind of a an extreme variant and you guys can see that I'm getting over 300, almost 400 frames a second in the main menu. Uh, so if we go into free play and FC, obviously this depends on the map that you're playing in free play, but this is urban central and I would consider this to be very playable. You can see that a lot of the elements on the outside of the map are non-existent. Um, and a lot of the shadows and the, you know, the, the dynamic lights and things are gone as well. Um, but that's kind of the point because it shrinks down the textures and eliminates shadows everything else that's extra besides your car and the ball and other opponents as well which is basically what you need to play the game you don't need all the extra stuff so uh, that's pretty much it uh, there are other some other things that you can do in the Nvidia control panel um, to kind of change the application settings but I'm not going to cover that today there's a very minor it's just you know uh, overriding Rocket League settings for anti-aliasing and just like the video modes, you know, texture quality, amb ambient aqua collision, all that stuff is basically just going to overwrite whatever Rocket League says. But uh, one other thing that you guys can do is if you go to Steam, then if you go to Rocket League, while this is off, by the way, if you go to Properties, then go to Set Launch Options, I'm going to have this line of code in the description as well. So basically what this is going to do is use all the available CPU cores on your system. Um, and then it'll turn off anti-aliasing as well. I'm not exactly sure what these two do offhand. But uh, then this is setting a high priority process for the uh, pro uh, on your system as well, I believe. So basically you just copy and paste that into here and hit OK and then start your game. And you should have a lot higher frame rate. If you guys want to change anything, however, you're going to have to go into this TA system settings.ini, right click on it, go to properties, uncheck the box, then you can go in and open it with notepad or click edit. Then if you want to turn on anything, say you want to have the shadows turned on, you basically just choose dynamic shadows and change this to true, save your file, exit out, then make it a read only again and go back into Rocket League and you'll be good to go. But make sure that you have Rocket League turned off or not running when you have when you're making any changes to this file. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Avatar Manzi, signing out.